Okay, uh, I'm just going to do kind of a running recap of a bunch of different things to try to make sense out of the market today. You'll notice here, look, this is the VIX. Um, this is the, you know, the uh, candlesticks are the VIX here. You're used to seeing it in uh, line format like that, but I want to show it in uh, candlestick format to show you something. Okay. I mentioned yesterday that an extreme reading in the VIX was not in and of itself a buy signal. Um, we get extreme readings, well not all the time, but we get them a lot. And uh, the only time that it's really a buy signal is when the VIX then reverses, when it comes back down. Such as we got back here in August, this is the VIX really high, notice down here's the S&P. When the VIX peaked about 3250 or so and then fell back down, that's when we got the move higher in the S&P. Um, of course, the opposite was also true when the VIX bottomed out. Um, that meant very low implied volatility. Options were cheap. Nobody really was anything other than complacent, and the, the, the uh, S&P fell down. Um, VIX uh, went up. Anyway. Moving on though, this next one, same deal. In January, we got a very, very high VIX up to 35, and that corresponded with the bottom, but it only corresponded with the bottom when, let me zoom in a little bit, really um, it required a confirmation on the way down where the VIX actually traded lower. You can see the bottom actually um, occurred a couple days, it looks like, before that peak in the VIX, but still, you know, we're not doing brain surgery here. This is trading. You got to have a margin for error. But now we're back here again, where we got a peak, um, a real spike up higher here, and now a pullback in the VIX. We've got a double bottom. Well, not a double bottom. We got a single bottom here, and now the S&P hasn't told us whether it this is a double bottom or whether it's just going to continue to blow right on through. Um, that's really the question that we need to ask. But at this point, you know, here's the setup. If we get the VIX, again, the volatility index, the implied volatility of eight put and calls that are about 30 days out on the S&P 500, traders buy those for protection. If they're paying a lot of money for them, that means that they're really, really excited. If they're not paying much money at all, that means there's no demand, there's complacency. Right now, they're paying a boatload for them. So if this VIX continues to fall, we want to watch the S&P. So far, to, uh, today's action was actually, it wasn't, certainly wasn't bearish, but darn it, it wasn't bullish either. It was just kind of sitting there, which doesn't make me happy. I would have preferred a smoking heap of ash and rubble so that the market could climb up. That's not what we got. So we're still in a little bit of no man's land, but with uh, absent knowing what uh, what is a Goldman and Lehman are reporting tomorrow and what the Fed's going to do, you know, I don't really know which way this is going to go, but I'll tell you this. I've mentioned it before. It's not my phrase, but I'll steal it. The rubber band is stretched pretty tight, but it's not so tight that we are just absolutely looking for a snapback rally. We need some kind of catalyst, and I really think if the Fed cuts big tomorrow, which I would imagine it's going to do that because, my gosh, it's pulling out the stops and all the other stuff. But if the Fed cuts big tomorrow, I really do think we're going to rally. And if Goldman, uh, particularly Goldman, everybody kind of knows Lehman's in trouble, but if Goldman writes down less than the market expects, that takes away a significant amount of uncertainty and substitutes it with knowledge. That will also be a catalyst. So just be on your toes. I really, again, I got no edge. I don't know what the numbers are going to be. Anybody who says they do is either telling you inside information or they're lying. So we need to just keep on this. And by the way, I've rambled on enough to where I'm really not going to go into anything else on this video, but I will do another one.